Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to the Bible together and to hear what God is saying to us today. John chapter 6 verses 8 and 9. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish, but what good is that with this huge crowd? I'm sure we're all very familiar with Jesus' miraculous feeding of the 5,000. It's an amazing miracle and must have had a profound effect on everyone who witnessed it. But I'm particularly interested in what happened before the miracle took place. John records that Jesus asked Philip where they could buy food for the people. Then John added that Jesus knew exactly what he was going to do, but was merely testing Philip. Philip gave the not unreasonable answer that even if they worked for months, they wouldn't have sufficient money to pay for enough food for the crowds. And then Andrew pointed out the hopelessness of the situation by highlighting a young boy in the crowd with his packed lunch. But with despair, he observed, what good is that with this huge crowd? This all feels very familiar, doesn't it? When we look at the problems of our world and even in our local community, it's very easy to get depressed. There's so much to be done. The needs are not only vast, but also extremely complicated. We look at our resources and, like the disciples, conclude that there's absolutely nothing that we could do to make a difference. The boys' packed lunch was just a joke. It didn't contain enough to satisfy the needs of one grown man, let alone a vast crowd of hungry people. Jesus' miraculous feeding of this enormous crowd was a lesson that the disciples needed to remember throughout their lives. In the years to come, they all faced great challenges as they served God and they needed to keep their eyes on Jesus rather than the problems. It's absolutely right that we should apply our logical thinking to the challenges that we face, but we must never forget that we're serving a God of miracles who to use the words of the Apostle Paul, is able to accomplish infinitely more than we ask or even think. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus Christ, we place our faith in you. Forgive us for those times when we become overwhelmed by the problems and forget that you are a miracle worker. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier or to download it as a podcast. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.